So basically, the concept of events is to create dependencies among the tasks in your workflow. The concept of events is used to create dependency among the tasks within your workflow. Okay. Say for example, you have created a workflow with some 25 to 30 tasks. Now, obviously if it is immediately available, we can create a link and say that it needs to start after this task, this needs to start and all. We can create a link if it is a simple workflow like that. But what if it is a very complex workflow, you have some 25 to 30 tasks created in your workflow. Now, you wanted to create a dependency between a couple of tasks, task A and some task B. These two tasks are not connected immediately in a flow. Based on your design, task A is somewhere and task B is somewhere. And But still you want to create a dependency between these two, saying that task B has to be started only when task A is succeeded. Okay? Say for example like this here, C1 is somewhere, C2 is somewhere. I cannot directly create a link between these two. But still I want to make sure this C2 is started only after the successful completion of C1 here. So in order to create such kind of dependencies among the tasks of your workflow, there is a concept called events. So what we will basically do is, uh, and Basically, event is nothing but a flag, okay? Event is nothing but a flag. Just remember that. Event is nothing but a flag. So what we are going to do is, after the completion of C1, I will raise a flag saying that, okay, I am done here. And here at C2, I will configure it to wait for a particular flag to be raised somewhere, okay? a particular flag to be raised somewhere, until that flag is raised, I will be keep waiting here. So that's what the concept of event is, as simple as that. We'll be, event is nothing but a flag, we will be waiting for a particular flag to be raised here, and we will be raising a particular flag here when we are done somewhere. So that's event raise and event wait. Event raise is to raise an event saying that I am done here and whoever are waiting for me can go ahead. Similarly, event wait is in order to wait for a particular event to be raised somewhere, saying that I am waiting here particular for a particular event to be raised. Until it is raised, I will be keep on waiting here. That's what event wait and event raise. So let's try to create such kind of dependency here itself. Uh, for example, I uh, will create event wait here and uh, event raise. So in this example, what I wanted to do is, before I start with S2, I want to make sure S1 is completed successfully wherever it is placed in the workflow. I want to make sure before I start with S2, S1 must be completed by then. So for that, what I am doing is, before S2, I have placed event wait. Okay? And after S1, I have placed event raise. So, before we configure these events, first we need to create an event. Event is nothing but a flag. So, where do we create? Go to edit workflow. You will see a tab called events. Here you can create as many events as you want. Okay? These are nothing but flags. You can give the names accordingly. Let's say I'll give the name like event ABC. 
Okay, so once I created an event here, I will configure this event raise to raise that particular event, event ABC. And in this event way, I will configure it to wait for that particular event ABC to be raised somewhere. So let's do that. Event raise open properties. You can choose here from the browser. You can see the one that we created event ABC. So I'll select there and come here in the event wait. Again in the events, user defined. And if you click on browse, you will see the event that we have created. So now I've selected the same event which I'm waiting here and which I'm raising here. Okay, so now let's start this one. So both started. Okay, after S1 is completed, event wait is also completed and you can see the corresponding values are triggered accordingly. We can also see actually the arrow mark indications. Okay, so here you can see the arrow mark indications which is running after which one. So after C1, it waited for event wait, right? And after S1, event raise was selected. Here you can see the arrow mark all the way coming here. And after this, the control went to C2. Okay, in GAN chart, you will be able to see the flow, how they happened and all. So that's pretty much about event wait and event raise. The concept of events is to create dependencies among the tasks of your workflow. Okay, So with that we are done with all the tasks that are available in Informatica Workflow Manager. Nine tasks totally. Session, email, command, assignment, timer, control, decision, event wait and event raise. Any questions on this one, you can let me know. Uh, Raj, let's say my scenario is like I need to run only in, on two days, like on Monday and Thursday. Mm. Then can I take timer task? Is it, uh, no, in that case, to do uh, it, um, what to do? No, timer cannot be used for that. You can... Uh, in the assignment task, you need to write a certain expression using system date variable. Pick up the day value of your day and write a condition in your decision task saying that uh, day of your system date is Monday or Tuesday. Then only allow the control to next object. Otherwise, prevent it. Assignment. Okay. Okay. Assignment and uh, no, not assignment. As decision task basically. So in the decision task, uh, you can uh, write that one. Just the way that we have built-in functions available in designer level, here also you will have all the functions available, which you can okay. take that one and write all the derivations as you want. Okay. Okay. So the requirement that you have talked about can be achieved. Uh, applied on system date using one mm. of the date functions like uh, uh, get date part, take the day value from it, applied on system date and do the comparison. Okay. Any other questions? All right, so we'll close it now and uh, we'll get back tomorrow to talk more advanced topics. Thank you. Bye-bye.